Uh, hello, this is question number 2017 uh, on the review package. So uh, it's given an incline and there is a mass uh, on the slope and the, there is a force F, the pushing, okay, now be careful about the direction, it's horizontal, not along the slope. And then it says, uh, push it up the plane at a constant speed. So that means there's no acceleration. And then you should know all the forces acting on M is balanced. Uh, so this is also a, a, a situation of equilibrium. So equilibrium does not necessarily mean the object is staying at rest. So as long as acceleration equals zero, that's uh, equal in equilibrium. So, so we have the case here: the acceleration equals zero, and then we also know uh, the the coefficient is mu. Right, mu is between the m and the slope. So I'm not going to actually solve the uh, question with numbers. So we know the f uh, mass m. And the mu, mu is a coefficient between the m and the slope. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is we draw a free body diagram on the block m. Okay, so gravity going straight down, fg, and the force f, horizontal f, the normal force perpendicular with the slope. And also friction force, uh, because it's moving up the slope, and it's moving, so it's kinetic friction is along the slope down. Okay, so uh, if we can uh, resolve uh, the force into the uh, axis, now here you have the choice to make the, the axis going this way, I would still like to do this way. Actually, in this case, it doesn't matter. You can uh, make this is your x-axis, and this is going to be your y-axis. Okay, so we're gonna resolve the force, uh, whichever is not on the axis, uh, into components. So we use a different color. Say the n, f n. And the F, uh, the F friction is already on uh, in the axis, so we need to do both both for F, both F and F G. Okay, so resolve the F into the component. So this will, I would call F X, and this one is on the Y direction. So I would call it F Y. And then for the FG, so this would be FGY, and this would be FGX. Okay, so then we just simply apply Newton's second law, the F net X equals zero. So then we look at the x direction, we should have fx, fx which is uh, equals f cos uh, theta, so we make the, the angle called theta, it is 25 degree. Uh, okay, so you need to work on this if you're not sure if this angle is theta. So uh, it's actually easy to tell because f is parallel with the horizontal, so that's exactly the uh, identical angle with this theta. And of course, we know this is the theta is also here. Right? Okay, so that's uh, uh, f cos theta should equal the sum of the other two horizontal forces towards the negative direction. Or you can, if you like, you can always do this way. Uh, this must subtract uh, the ff. 
and then subtract the fgx which is fg sine theta equals zero so right left f net equals zero and then f net y equals zero so we can get uh, the normal force fn subtract f Fy, Fy is actually F times sine uh, theta, and then Fgy here is Fg times cos theta equals zero. Okay, now of course we still have another relation is Ff is actually equals the mu times the Fm. Okay, so if we plug in everything, uh, although I won't plug in numbers, so we should get this. For for the first equation, we got F cos theta minus the Ff is actually mu uh, times Fn, right? Mu times Fn. If you look at the Fn, if you solve the Fn from the second equation, is actually equals fg sine theta plus sorry this is not fg this is f sine so theta right here you move these two on both uh, to the other side so you got f sine theta plus fg cos theta okay so that's uh, equals zero Okay, so basically, uh, so this equation, I can get this, and then uh, this equation becomes this, right? Of course, uh, I plug in the FF right here with mu n, and then n it, from here, I got this, the final equation in this. Now you can see, you see, you can isolate the F right here, so F cos theta minus mu uh, sine theta f and then this is a minus mu we can move to the other side so we get a mu fg cos theta so eventually you can get the f factor the f out and divide so you should get mu Fg cos theta divided by cos theta minus mu sine theta. And then if you get all the number, you can just plug in. Okay, uh oh, I think I made a mistake. Uh, you can see this equation, you minus mu, uh, that's ff right here. And it should equal Fg sine theta on the other side. So this is not zero here. So this is Fg sine theta. And then you would have uh, Fg sine theta here. So this one, I move this one over there. So we should have mu, uh, mu, you can, you can factor the FG actually mu plus theta plus sine theta and you put FG here. Okay. Actually, I calculated if you plug in everything, uh, it is 61 pound. Now, of course, in this question, all the information given are like a pound. So, uh, yeah, if you just put, put a pound in uh, 75 pounds for the, the block into the FG, so you should get a 61 pound for the F. Okay, that's it. Done.